everybody. In today's lesson, I'm going to show you how to play like Greg Ginn from Black Flag. Um, this lesson is going to be based off of uh, the song Jealous again, because I feel like that has a good mix of elements that uh, Ginn uses in a lot of his guitar solos. Um, it's off the, it was originally released as a 45, but you can get it on the first four years. Uh, again, the song is Jealous again, and here it goes. <laughs> Before we get started, remember to like this video on YouTube and uh, follow me uh, and or subscribe for more videos like this. I'll be posting them once a week. Okay, so one of the first elements that uh, Greg Ginn uses in his leads is the kind of traditional Chuck Berry style leads. So uh, in Jealous Again, he does the, uh, these bends um, as like kind of fills in the verse and then right before the, the, the solo he goes into, he does a couple series of bends. So you're gonna bridge, to do those bends um, like I played earlier, you're gonna bridge your first finger over the uh, third fret on the B and E strings and then bend with your ring finger. And then you're gonna slide up to the 12th fret. The, the song is in E, and then the, the lead's gonna be in E. Um, but he does, he starts off um, in G, which is the chord that's being played when he does that, that bend on the third fret. Um, so yeah, so that's one of the elements that Greg Ginn was, is gonna use in a lot of leads uh, uh, throughout the Black Flag um, uh, albums. Um, and then what he's gonna do, he's gonna move up once we move up to the 12th fret, then it's going to start the lead. And he's going to do these bends on the 15th fret. So for the rest of the, the, the solo from here on out, it's kind of based on the uh, minor, the E minor pentatonic. And um, what Greg Ginn likes to do is he'll stay within that E minor pentatonic and um, He'll, but he'll add these kind of off-sounding notes, which give it that kind of black flaggy sound. Um, so to begin, so we're gonna keep our finger bridged on the 12th fret on the B and E strings. And we're gonna do those bends, but then he's just gonna kind of go into like some just random uh, alternate picking. While he moves that ring finger down um, the the fretboard to the lower strings. And he's gonna kinda hit random strings while also moving down that minor pentatonic progression. And um, so in a lot of the songs, what Greg Ginn will do is he'll just do that kind of like where he's playing a bunch of extra like notes while, bridge with, with his finger bridge while also moving that ring finger down the progression of the scale. And then he'll kind of do these kind of out of tune bends. Which again, that's another element of his, of his style is that kind of atonal almost uh, lead which influenced a lot of guitar players. And um, again, that's going to be, he's going to do those kind of in the um, scale, in the E minor pentatonic scale, but he's going to bend the notes almost out of key, or he might even sometimes hit random notes that are out of the scale that, that kind of sound a atonal, but a majority of the notes are going to be in the scale. So it kind of gives it that it's in key, but it's also kind of atonal sound. <laughs> Um, and then, so then next, we're gonna start going, we're gonna start again in the E minor pentatonic. We're gonna go up to the high E on the 12th, with our index finger on the 12th fret. And he's gonna again add that kind of bluesy uh, atonal note uh, with the second note on the, with his um, uh, middle finger on the 13th fret. And that that middle finger on the 13th fret is really going to give us that atonal quality of this. And then he's just going to move down the E minor pentatonic. Like 
something like that, like that kind of phrasing. It doesn't have to be exact. Um, he kind of plays it different all the time. So again, it's... So then you're going to move back up. Um, and you can even add like that atonal note on the 13th fret again. Or even like maybe something on the 11th fret on the way back up just to give it that kind of Greg Yen atonal quality. Um, and then, so once you work your way back up, so you're going to work down and up. Then you're going to go back into that bridging your, your finger on the 12th fret and you're going to move your, your uh, ring finger like back up from the 14th fret on the G string. Um, or the D string. And it just, it kind of has like a random, like kind of out of control quality. And then finally you're going to bridge your finger on the 12th fret again, and then you're just gonna do alternate picking sliding up. And you don't have to hit each fret on the way up, you can kind of skip frets. He ends up somewhere on the 18th fret on that song, but again, this is just something you can do in your music. And it gives it that kind of punk, uh, hardcore type of sound. So let's hear that whole thing again. So that's it for this lesson. Now remember with uh, like Greg Ginn's style of playing and, and it's all about, it's not really about hitting all the notes accurately, but it's kind of adding these elements to make the, the lead kind of sound out of control. Um, so remember if you uh, like this video to like it on YouTube and hit the subscribe button and I'll be doing these videos every week and I will see you guys next time.